first is when Mikey first mentioned it, we thought he was just joking around, playing around, but now that it's true, now that it's rea reality, we're, we've trained very hard, Mikey's in great shape, you know, uh, he doesn't have to lose that much weight, you know, Mikey walks around 152, somewhere around there, so, so the, pro the weight's not going to be a problem, so he's actually going to be strong, solid at 147, he might even be stronger at uh, at 147 than he was probably at 135 because cutting to 135 was pretty hard. So uh, Mike's gonna be up, you know, his his body's gonna be 100. percent He wins this fight at 147. Would you like to see him try and unify a welterweight, or are you looking to go back down, junior welter, or even lightweight Look, for a big when, fight? Winning this fight, you know, beating probably the best welter in the division. You know, why, you know, I, I don't think there's any reason why would Mikey come back down to 140. I think he'll stay at 147 and fight the rest of the champions there. You know, most of them. Most of them are 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 fighting for the same uh, company, so there's so many big fights that Mikey could do at at Walter. So he could probably he could probably stay at Walter. A lot of media, a lot of boxing pundits, fans, they say Mikey wins this fight. He's automatically an all-time great in everyone's book. Do you think he's an all-time great if he wins this fight tonight? Is he going down in history as one of the greatest to ever do? Mikey, Mikey's already accomplished too much in boxing, more than we ever expected. So for us, I think he's already accomplished much to be one of the greats. But obviously, winning this fight would definitely put him up there with, you know, with the greats like Duran, you know, uh, Leonard, uh, De La Hoya, Pacquiao. You know, there's been a lot of great ones that that always fought the best and never, never, uh, never uh, denied any. Fight. They gave us the best fights out there, and Mikey's uh, Mikey could be one of those. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very rarely, very rarely, man. Mikey eating. Like you said, doesn't have to make 135. Is there like a like a difference in attitude, a difference in not trying to make weight? Well, look, uh, he's trained very hard. You know, he there, you know, so we don't have to worry about cutting weight. So the whole training camp, sparring, he was eating good, training hard, and and doing the work. You know, looking stronger than ever. Now, you know, to make weight, it'll be maybe two or three pounds max, and that's not going to be a problem at all, you know. So, I think Mikey could be stronger now than he was maybe at 135, because cutting all the way to 135, it really takes a lot of out of a body. And, uh, you know, people don't know that when a fighter cuts, you know, 10, 15 pounds in two weeks, it, it, it takes a lot out of you. And uh, and uh, and this time, he hasn't been able, he doesn't have to do it. Oh, he will, you know, he's been able, you know, he's been able to be, you know, like I'm telling you, he hasn't even tried to cut weight yet, he's walking around 151, 152, so, so the weight won't be a problem. Is there a difference at all in Mikey this, with, with this fight leading up to it? Oh, uh, look, the training, everything, you know, Mikey, Mikey's one of those guys that, uh, that, uh, if, if, if the fight doesn't excite him, he just trains, because that's his job, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really do it with a passion. For this fight, every day, every, every, every minute in the ring, uh, when we're doing mids or, or sparring, he's full of energy. He's excited about this because this is the, obviously the biggest challenge of his, of his career and, uh, and he chose it and he wants it that bad. I feel like he's almost the happiest I've seen him he is, for a no, fight. Definitely. Like he's, he is. Like he's very happy. Usual, like more than, look, winning titles, he said it before, you know, for him it doesn't mean much. You know, he loves the, the, the love from the fans, the, the people are the ones that, that motivate him. And, and look at all this right now, that's what motivates him, you know. That's what, you know, walking into the uh, the arena, even though we're in Aerospace hometown, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of fans. It's probably going to be 50-50, and uh, and that that motivates him, that that excites him. And that's what he wants to do, you know, give the fans the best fights out there. That was my last question. How do you see that fan split? Do you think it's going to be 50-50? I have a lot of people saying it might even be like... Look, uh, be the way it looks, uh, just by... By being here at the at the uh, at the medium workout, I think there's a lot more Mexican fans than, than you know than, than people from here from Dallas. Or I'm pretty sure they're all from Dallas, but they're all going for Mikey or they're cheering Mikey's name out. So you know, I know Spence, I, I was at Aero Spence uh, fight here in uh, here in Dallas, and I was like 15,000 people, whatever it was, and it was all for Aero Spence. So he does have a big following. So I think it's gonna be 50-50.